Hello and welcome back to my channel. And there is and there is no news about the albums that I have ordered. They are still sailing somewhere around the world. So we have a great time to do some contest. And there are some really great contests going on in the VC at the moment. Like many contests, I think like over five different contests going on. It's crazy. But uh, this is for Brock Rock Tommy's corner. The channel Brock Rock Tommy's uh, 100 subscribers contest entry. And I actually just found his channel this morning and I saw. Who was it? The cheap and cheerful record collector made his entry for this. So I found his channel through it. And now I'm here, here to jump on this uh, contest too. So it, uh, this seems like the, like a very easy contest. Like, uh, so two albums that have a beautiful cover and a beautiful inner sleeves. I was like, this is easy. I'm just gonna get two albums that have inner sleeves and show them. But at least for me, it was actually quite uh, quite too hard to find like inner sleeves that have a have a have a, like a good picture or like otherwise some even some kind of thing text or pictures. Um, actually most of them were just like white or black paper with some of the, with the plastic inside. But I have the two albums that were asked. The first one is Affinity's self-titled album. I have shown this a couple of times here but this has one of the beautiful, most beautiful covers ever, in my opinion. Here's the back cover with the swans. And the inner leaf is nothing crazy. This is the uh, rep uh, repertoire re record, but I think it's kind of cool, the black and white. Like the label, because it kind of uh, like this is also really cool, but it also kind of reminds me of the the vertigo, vertigo swirl labels. Like I, I actually thought that I would show one of the toes, but I don't actually have any uh, vertigo inner sleeves. I have a couple of vertigo albums, but the inner sleeves have. Gone missing by the previous owners. So that's kind of sad. And this Affinity album was originally released as a Vertigo for an album. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, really beautiful cover and kind of cool looking inner sleeves. Uh, but yeah, le the next one, let's go, <laughs> totally different kind of music, like when this was like, uh, like progressive rock with some like jazz rock elements, then we go to the heavy metal classic, Judas Priest Painkiller, like what can you say about this album cover, it looks really, really good. I'll get these outer sleeves here. It also has a really a, a pretty cool inner sleeve. I don't have the record in here because it, this is only like paper. I have it on the plastic inner sleeve. It has the Jewish Priest logo and like all the lyrics. Here's a picture of the band and 
I think this is also a very simple, but I, I liked how this looks like the red background and the Judas Priest logo on the cover. I think this is really, really good. Here's the back cover also. Uh, the next question was so uh, like I talk a bit about the one song on each of the albums. No, well, I maybe should plan this video before before I start recording. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go with the title track, Painkiller. Okay, it's it's just uh, like. A heavy metal anthem. But I think no I'm gonna get so beaten up by this but I think the painkiller is maybe a bit overrated to its priest song. Like it's good, don't get me wrong, but but I I for my opinion, the albums like British Steel, Screaming for, for Vengeance, even like something like uh, A Sad Wings of Destiny, I would say they are overall better albums than Painkiller. And, and yes, about the song, The Painkiller, it's, it is a really good song. And I, I think it's the like most well known to the priest song. But I'm just saying it. It is maybe a bit overrated. I like like the eighties, early eighties, late seventies to the priest a bit better than the nineties priest. Okay, I'm just gonna show, forget to show the label on this. The Columbia. Uh, the song from the Affinity album. Which one I'm. Uh, okay. Uh, so. I'm actually talking. Gonna talk about the only cover song of this album. No, I went the wrong way. The song, I right, can see. But the song is the All Along the Watchtower. Originally written by Bob Dylan. And then some other uh, other guy covered it also in the uh, like sixties. It was something like uh, Jimi Hendrix or Hendrix or something like that. I don't know who is who is is who he is. Never heard of him. But I think the Affinity did a, a, a pretty good job at covering it. It has this kind of like. A bit of jazzy, uh, like more to it compared to like really folky Bob Dylan version and the, like the electric and guitar heavy Jimi Hendrix version. So I think it's a really a successful, successful uh, cover. It works good and it it is a really good closing track on this beautiful album. Is it as good as the Dylan's original? Maybe no. But a uh, excellent cover. And the Linda Hall's voice is it's amazing. Uh, and then the third uh, question. Uh, is there uh, some kind of story or something? A memory that you have with these albums in your collection. I don't think do I have anything special with this affinity. 
I bought it the last Christmas, I think. No, and I have been listening to it, listening to it a lot. But I think I have shown it in the videos quite a lot, so that's kind of a cool thing. Mm, okay, Actually, maybe a bit story about uh, like how I got this, because in Finland there's like a one main record store, the Levykauppa X, Record Shop X, which is like the uh, biggest and has most items in their like web, uh, web store and like in like the uh, physical stores and like that. So I, so because I had had been looking for this album a long time, but like in Living Up Packs there was only a CD version and it was like uh, 28 euros. I was like, no, I'm not gonna pay 28 euros for a CD. But then I found uh, like a lot of smaller, uh, like smaller record shop who was run by only one guy who's i think he is he is he is he is retired or he is close to retire retiring but he still keeps the online store going and this was there and this vinyl was like was it 19 euros so i was like of course i want to get this i don't think i have any Crazy stories that I have with this album. But with the painkiller, I have actually something a bit more of a story. Let me get this. Uh, I, I think I have uh, like told this before in some video but, like I, I got this album a couple of years back uh, I don't know what the, what is the English word wait uh, word for it it's like the like teenager go to like the church's summer camp and like study about the bible and stuff like that and then there is like a big party in the church when the is it, is, is it just a confirmation it might be but yeah it i went there and uh, like it, uh, for me it was a bit different i went there while like school was still going on so i had like finished get the confirmation thing and then we had a couple of days at school and my a friend came to when I like, went to the school he was all, he was already already there he came to me hey do you my me and my dad got you something it was this painkiller album I was like no yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool because I, I like to this priest and I didn't have it so I was like, this is really good, but like, and like, there is nothing crazy about it. He did, but well, like, because we gave, because the, my friend was also on the same uh, confirmation thing. We gave him like some money and flowers and all, all that stuff. And they wanted to like, give something more special or something. And they gave him this painkiller album. And the funny thing is, so maybe uh, like half a year later, when I started to put my collection on discs, my the same my the same friend was there, like also putting them and finding the correct, uh, correct version of the album, and we realized that this album is one of my most valuable items in my collection. This is, this is like 18 euros because this is, this is album from 1991 when vinyl wasn't going really strong and 
the vinyl pressings there quite small. So it was quite a fun to see that they like told it it was like max 20 euros or something, but it was a bit more. But they said they had like it's okay and we already gave it so no hard feeling for anyone. But I think this is it. I answered all the three guest questions. Congrats on Tommy for reaching the 100 subscriber milestone and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.